Hey guys, welcome back. Wick Gamer here. Um, we are on episode two of our Let's Play of Real Mist. Definitely not a blind playthrough, more of a let's remember, take it down, path down memory lane. Uh, been having a great time so far. We've uh, we've completed Mechanical, Stone Ship, and Channel Wood. So we have Selenic left, and uh, and then the end game, if you want to call it, and then rhyme after that so um let's let's get her done uh get her done wow um so let's do the tower rotation to the rocket ship better. still have a little bit of a cough, but we're just going to play through it. was a little buggy. <laughs> it kind of freaked out there. Okay. Oh. I don't remember this from the original. Power and power to ship. Oh yeah, isn't that right? You can overcharge it or something like that and then it, it pops. And oh yeah, that's what that ladder is over by the rocket, right? I mean, that's... If you pop the breaker or whatever, you've got to go switch it. Yeah. Okay. So... Let me just write this down. There's two rows of five. Okay. So the first one's ten volts. Can you Yeah, I can go out to the seven. Eight. Sixteen. Okay, so we want 59 volts total, so let's see, let's just do the two bigger numbers, let me just get a calculator real quick, not the notes, calculator, okay, so let's do 22 and 19, so that's 41, so that's 18 more, so 16 and 2, 16 plus 2, that's 59, so it will be 2, 22, 19, and 16. Well, that was easy enough. Alright. <clears throat> to the rocket ship. I was always so confused by this too, I was like, well, is this thing going to take off and take me to a new 
age somewhere, and then it's just a linking book on the inside. <clears throat> um, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Um, let me see if I still have a picture of that. Okay. So it goes... Let's see. So one... Oh, that's right. You have to copy the tone. Ah, this this might be interesting. We'll see how good I am at this. It's been a long time. Okay. So, um, one. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. That sounds right. That sound right to you guys? Two. Two is right here. That sounds right. Man, if you're tone deaf, you would have a horrible time with this. Three is here. Okay. right oh first try oh yeah it doesn't even show the actual book it's just a like a projection or whatever it's kind of cool oh this is the oh weird it was showing the rocket ship I thought for a minute Cool. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> well, that was easy too. I remember having problems with the tones when I was younger also. It took like a lot of tries. <laughs> back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Oh yeah, the rocket ship is on this one too. I forgot. Huh. Oh yeah, so this is the entrance. So we gotta solve this. This is like the final thing. So after we solve everything, then we put something in here. All right, so let's go over here. 12 o'clock. Oh yeah, that's right. The sounds. That's what it has something to do with the sounds. So I think we have to turn all the the microphones on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's talking about in the book the one patch of grass. <clears throat> Everything else was like destroyed by meteors daily or something like that. There's the new page. Alright, so that's three. Whoa, am I floating? <laughs> I didn't really go down far enough. Oh, yeah, go back this way. It's, 
it's weird, you know, playing the point and click. Um, you lose that sense of direction. So you're just clicking on stuff and you're just traveling. You're not realize that you're, you know, like going around this gigantic, you know, um, like meteor strike. You know, you, you don't think about it when you're just doing clicking. So it's hard to get perspective on the size of the, the island and what the shape is exactly. It's four. I think there's like a tunnel or something that you have to go through. Oh yeah, here it is. There's the tunnel. There's something significant. I was like, what the heck? Freaked me out for a second. Five is the wind. Under the revive. Okay. Right, so, if I remember right, we just point it towards each of the buttons. Oh, so, let's just note this down. So, when you get to 203. think that these numbers matter. It's just for, you know, <clears throat> easier to find these when I'm going through and trying to find them rather than just spinning around randomly. Furnace is 116. Whoa, if I can keep hold of my pencil. Alright, great. And I think we have to go through the combo. It shows us what the combo is. Um, I've got a crying kid. I'll be right back in just a minute. Sorry, guys. And we're back. <laughs> uh, kid is back asleep, so let's do this. Uh, so we're starting out. I don't know where it matters if we start out. Uh, so let's start out with water. I don't think it matters. 
so we, we just need to listen, so... So let me just make notes real quick. So it's water. So we'll just do WA, WI for wind, R for the musical rock, C for the clock, and F for the furnace. Okay, so rock, water, wind, furnace, clock. I think that's the winner. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hold on. Wait, turn around. That's, that's beautiful. What the uh, I see this. It's F12, is it? Or F10? Can't remember what screenshot is. That's pretty though. Especially that cloud. Pretty cool. That's what, I live in Colorado, that's what I love so much about Colorado. We have amazing sunsets over the mountains. It's just beautiful. Especially when I get off work, <clears throat> it's just the right time where the sun's starting to set behind the mountains and... Beautiful oranges and all that stuff. Man, it's amazing. Okay. Let's do this. So, um, the uh, musical rock first. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. I don't remember the train. Okay, water now. And I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. All right. Back one more time, guys. <laughs> so uh, we've done wind, water, uh, or not wind, but musical rock. Now wind, a furnace, a furnace, and clock. Okay. Oh man, this maze. Oh. Oh man, this maze. Uh I did not catch the sounds at all. I don't know why. It's it's completely obvious when you look at it, you know, that there are sounds that you know, whenever you stop somewhere, like it's pretty obvious and you would think that even if you missed the the hint on mechanical that you would still, you know, be able to piece it together. But no, <laughs> I didn't. I I just blindly ran through it until I got utterly lost. And then I think that I even like I can't remember if I restored from a save or something, so I could be back at the beginning, um, or I back backtracked back to the beginning. But, um, yeah, uh, and then I just mapped the entire thing out. I mapped every piece of it, every turn and curve, and uh, finally found the way, but it took me forever to get through this maze. It was so ridiculous. Uh, it's so funny looking back on it now. It could have been so easy, <laughs> you know, just directions. But it was still a good time. It occupied me for hours. Okay, Dink is north. So we should be going north. Which is the only option. Oh, 
All right, future. That's east. No, it's Wait. East, right? Future? What? Do I have that backwards? I'm pretty sure that I had that right when I wrote it down. Was I just completely backwards? We'll try it. And there wasn't any other option, really. Dink. It's north. I still got one right. <laughs> So that was west, but I guess it's east now. Yeah, I really don't know how, as a child, I missed the noises. Like, I remember hearing them and just being like, oh, making weird noises. Is that a hiss again? Yeah, I evidently got the stupid thing backwards. That's weird. That's south. Got the animal cowbell. Right, cowbell again. And there are a couple of them that are like the combination of two, so I should pay attention to that. So that's future, so that's west. Faster, buddy. Future. Oh, I can't believe I got those backwards. I have to look back on my recording and see. Dink future. So no. This is such a long maze. I can't believe I mapped out the entire thing. That's just so ridiculous. Dink hiss. Oh, there we go. 
I'm either at the beginning or uh, at the end. <laughs> Hilarious, I just want to jump the loop. Did we get the red page? Did we miss the red page somewhere? Oh no. Did we miss the red page somewhere? Oh Darn. Um Wow. Where Man, I must have missed it somewhere. Uh, okay, well. Okay, let's link back to Mist. I can't believe that. Uh, shoot, I need that to get the combo. Okay, well, um, I am going to do that off camera. I will uh, magically transport back here and pick up the recording again once I uh, get the red page. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I was so interested in just getting through that maze. I didn't even think to look for the red page. I remember seeing the blue page, but not the red one. So, all right, I'll be back, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Here it is. Totally missed it. Alright. Red page received. Back to Mist Island. See you guys in a sec. Look at what we got. Back with the red page. Sorry about that, guys. Finally returned. I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sears. I trust that from your explorations you've become convinced that my wicked brother, Akhtar, is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here, imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island, but I assume you must at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room, on this island named Mist, that he housed most of these books. But such a waste. By now, you have surely discovered that Akhenor has burnt him. Our father was always watchful of our exploration. We grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mystic books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the mist ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. And you were obsessed with for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity too late. He had completely destroyed all of the mist ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenor's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. No. To discover the truth, our father embarked on one final journey. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim and trapped forever. Poor guy. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page and I will be forever free. 
there is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Let's put on the shelf. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158, recreating the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me, and I will finally be released and able to reward yes, you. Sir. Of course. Mm -hmm. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. It chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another one. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same warning long ago. I suggest you follow his advice. Go now. Soon we will be face to face. I don't know if I was just really trusting as a kid or what, but... Like, I, I, something didn't sit right with me with Sirius, but he's like, don't touch the green book. And I was like, well, if I have to, I have to choose between Sirius and Akinaw, there's no, like, third choice in my mind. Um, so let's grab Atrus's page. And, uh, so I was like, well, I mean, I guess Sirius is better than, than, uh, Akinaw. Um, so I picked Sirius and... Was trapped in a book forever. <laughs> oh, shoot. I guess we need pattern 158. That can't really do anything without it, huh? Last book, middle shelf. There it is. 158. This is where my double click mouse would have come in handy. Click, 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 click. There it is. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of it just real quick. So I don't have to write it down. Oh, the days of cell phones made th makes things so much easier. <clears throat> oh. Uh-oh. I kind of locked up there. All right, let's do it. I think I still have all my old, uh, all my old journals and stuff that I wrote in. I had one of those in uh, one of the Riven games that I bought. There was a, a journal that came with it, and uh, so I had written, written all my notes and drew out like pattern one fifty eight is in there, obviously, and like all of like the like little tidbits and stuff. All of it is in there, and I, I kind of role played through the whole thing, so. You know, at the beginning of the book, it was, you know, me finding the missed book. You know, I can't remember what story I came up with. You know, in a library somewhere, you know, stuck in some random corner that got forgotten about, or or if it fell from the sky, or I found it in, you know, like my parents' basement or something like that. But, but yeah, it's cool. I'll have to dig it out. I just remembered that. Um, I'll have to dig it out and look through it, but uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Hey, Atris. What up? Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to Dunny. Not, not yet. yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Agonar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. Oh, my library. It contains my works, my 
writings. Oh, I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. My sons, Cirrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. No, I see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. Got it right here. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. Will do, Atris. Got it right here. Dunny. I think it, I can't, is it, this is underneath Agira, Agira Island. Um, yeah, in Uru they ex excavate it and uh, they're able to get out and it's actually on Earth to the surprise of everyone. Oh, that's kind of goofy. <laughs> I did. Ah, give it to me. There you go. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. I guess I'll just wait here. <clears throat> just on a quick note while he's away. Um, see this right here? This is age five. This is a descriptive book. And then this is the linking book. As you can see, there's a difference, you know. The linking book is a lot smaller than the descriptive book because it only has to do a few small things, you know, a few <sighs> small descriptions. It is done. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, but uh, my writing cannot wait. I feel that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife Catherine is being held hostage. Oh man, I'm already excited to play Riven. Oh, uh, reward. I'm sorry, but all I have to offer you is the library on the Island of Mist. The books that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope your explorations are satisfying. You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with.
Well, thanks, Atris. Oh, and uh, uh, one more favor. I'm fighting a foe much greater than my sons could ever have imagined. Yeah, you got daddy issues, buddy. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. You're welcome. <clears throat> so yeah, so what happens is, uh, this is age five and he's trying to write right into it to stabilize the age because Gen has written... S Hold on. The uh, book. You can use the Mist linking book to return to Mist. Alright, thanks buddy. Let's return, so... Atris. We don't bug Atris. Obviously he's busy. Oh, that's kind of a cool little note. <clears throat> so yeah, so he's trying to write, write in the descriptive book to um, stabilize that age. What happens is, if I remember right, um, he... So Gen wrote this age... And, uh, he wanted to do some, like, crazy ceremony. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. They put the, he put the rhyme journal on the floor. Um, he had some crazy ceremony that he was going to, to do to impress the natives or something. I can't rem Oh, no, I think it was to marry Catherine. So, Gen was going to marry Catherine, which is Atris's now wife. And, uh. So he wrote in like all of these changes and it messed Riven up um, or age five. And uh, so that's where that, the, um, oh man, now I can't think of the name of it again. The, the fissure. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the fissure opened up and, uh, and the age is slowly, you know, falling apart so uh, Atris is trying to write stuff in to to fix things um, and so that's what's happening but we'll we'll get into more of that when we play Ribbon um, so does he write something oh yeah 2735 oh okay so you have to click a button on the back side of the projector maybe 2735 okay so 40, 2735. And we find out in Miss 4 that he doesn't actually destroy the books um, like like it looks like he did here. He's like a powerful wizard or something. He was like, Ugh! and just burned him. So we... Okay, so let's go to the imager room. Let's close this door. Whoa, that was kind of goofy. Okay, so let's go pattern 40. the clue obviously that it's at the base of the rocket ship. I remember that that it was done. Two seven three five, I don't remember what that code is used for. Is it used on rhyme? I've only played through rhyme a couple times. Whoa. Whoa there buddy. Drunk driver here. kind of weird that the whole thing okay. oh oh yeah that's right it like it raises up into the library two seven three five so even if we would have figured out that button and gotten down here without Atris writing in that combo, we would have never 
been able to raise this up. <clears throat> Very cool. Whoa. I don't remember those <clears throat> going th from tower to tower like that. Maybe this is that's a masterpiece edition thing. Huh. Should have brought my winter coat. It's kind of like a ghosty sound. Oh yeah, isn't there like something in the water? Oh wait, right there. It's like a mom and a baby. Oh, I think there's another one right there too. Yeah, that's right. doing the electrical thing right now. Oh, there's one. Oh, blip. Cool. I really don't remember this hardly at all. There's the fish again, way all that creatures. I I very like I only have like a vague recollection of this. Whoa. <laughs> uh possess door much? Hello? us back to miss. That's locked. Oh, I can't remember. <clears throat> this is the Dunny language, obviously. I can't remember what, what this is, what this uh, translates to. I, I'm sure I translated it <laughs> at some point, but uh, I can't remember what it is. I used to be able to read it. I think that's like a E or is it AH or something like that? can't remember. Oh yeah, but oh man, I spent time writing it, you know, writing in it like I would just, you know, convert English straight to the Dunny font before you could just download the Dunny font and just type. Um, I would handwrite it, you know, like I bought a calligraphy pen. Oh man, I'm such a dork. Oh yeah, I think you have to turn this furnace on. Oh yeah, isn't there something outside I'm going to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I dorked it up big time with Mist, and uh, I literally, my buddy played Mist, and he never played any of the other games, uh, so I was just on my own. So it was a passion of mine all by myself. <laughs> as a kid growing up. But yeah, I completely dorked out for sure. So this is obviously a different soundtrack. Was it composed by Ryan Miller? And is there... I'll have to write that down. Rhyme. Music. I'll have to look it up and see if I can find it anywhere. Like, I've got all of the missed soundtracks. 
Mystery Men and all those. And surprisingly enough, I still listen to them. Um, it's very peaceful. I don't know. There's something about it that I just enjoy. It's like kind of eerie and peaceful and simplistic. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it actually started my kind of enjoyment of of classical, more classical music. Like I was, man, I used to listen to industrial and techno and house and rave music. And man, I was I was like classical music. That's dumb. But um, after really getting into Riven and Mist, like I I liked that music and I would listen to that. And then I was like, well, you know, it's kind of classical. And then I heard some other stuff that's like very basic piano or, you know, basic violin. And I've come to really appreciate it. And I, I listen to it when I want to calm down. But I still, I still love me the hard stuff too. But, but uh, um, it's just cool. It's crazy how a game influences you uh, if you play it and it, uh, you know, take it to heart, you know, uh, uh, Riven, um, I, I dream, I still dream of someday having a like Riven themed office. Uh, right now my office is, I've got bookcases on a, on a wall of my kid's playroom basically. Uh, so it's not much of a office or library, but, but, uh, man, and, and, uh, you know, like the visual cues, uh, maybe just fall in love with that style um yeah it's, it's totally interesting okay let's see red green red orange yellow green blue purple i like orange oh is this doesn't to the aurora it again i'll be right back sorry guys all right guys back again <laughs> sorry for all the cuts um uh, anyways let's take a look here okay i'm pretty sure we need that so we'll take a picture So I just want to read through this real quick because I think it has something on how to progress. And I'm not entirely sure how to progress. Um, I know that there's like a room with crystals, but I don't remember how to get there. So um, I'm just going to read through it real quick. So just bear with me. So... Um,
yeah so to see this this is what atris is talking about like they're making change you know they change the crystals and it appears to make changes to the age uh, but in reality we're seeing a vast number of distinct though similar ages displaying the current age defined by the crystals that appears as though we are changing the original age so this is that you know what i went back to about the differences between gens thinking on creating descriptive books and atris is thinking on on doing descriptive books <laughs> Channel water stone chip two ages I've not seen in a long while. Oops. Yeah, that'd be hard to build towers in like the middle of a freezing cold ocean. I'm just gonna I'm just kinda skimming it. So yeah, he's trying to view Riven. Oh, bummer. Um, so there's no. So. Oh yeah, maybe I just have to go down now that I'm backwards. Yes, no, maybe? Yes, that's it, that was it. Nice. I seem... This, this room doesn't look very familiar at all to me. It looks, uh... I don't know, it looks weird. It seems smaller than I remember it. Like in my mind, this was like on the left side of like a large room. Huh. Completely wrong. Rock collection. Okay. So we do need a picture of this. Huh. So it was Catherine that found the combination to Riven? Very cool. Okay, so... I can't remember, there's a bunch... I think that you can view a bunch of ages. Somebody went through and, uh, um, like found a lot of them, um, but we'll just do Riven for now. Okay. And then, how do we change the color on it? Spike. Okay. Uh, 
fire marble. This one's blue. There's gotta be a way to change the color with that second thing. Yep, that's 
moving. Sorry, sorry it took me so long. That should have been a lot easier, but the purple threw me off. Is it darker purple? Yeah, that's uh, that's where those um, sea creatures. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're hanging out, sunning themselves on that rock in Riven. Very cool. And we will be there soon. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, playing along with me. Um, it's been a really enjoyable experience. Uh, we've had such a good time um, playing Riven, just going a bit down memory lane, and, uh, just remembering uh, these amazing, amazing games. Uh, it's just been so fun to to see. Just, they're just great games, um, and it's been t way too long since I've played them, so, uh, anyways, we'll leave it at that, um, I will, uh, start Riven next, and I'm very, very, very excited about that, so, uh, I will, uh, record more when I can, guys, and, uh, we'll see you in a bit, thanks, guys.